Temperatures are rising and picnic time is right around the corner. Before you take your food outside, Trish Brimhall from Nutritious Intent is here to show us how to keep food safe outdoors. Trish and I were just saying we love to live outdoors. In, Bring it on. I mean, it's supposed to smell to snow tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. But, but we do, we, I mean, the temperatures are getting it warmer. Is. It is. And outdoor living really is around the corner, which means outdoor eating as well. Mm -hmm. But honestly, foodborne illness, the incidence definitely rises and tends to spike when the weather gets warm. Um, and with 48 million cases a year of foodborne illness, it's a big deal. That's a lot. Yeah. I it didn't know it was like, that high. They, they estimate about 3,000 deaths every year from foodborne illness. It's, it's a thing. Well, I love it because so. you have a simple way to kind of go about this. It's cook, cover, chill, and chuck. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's start with the first so one. So with the cooking, um, there's a lot of things we talk, you hear oftentimes about, you know, keeping raw and cooked food separate and separate cutting boards, separate, you know, don't let that cross contamination happen. And even if you're talking like just when you're preparing, say, fruit, wash that cantaloupe because that can cross contaminate from whatever's on the outside all the way through as you slice that cantaloupe. So it's really you important know. to make sure you're washing everything. Yes, wash it, keep it good. But also with cooking and making sure you're doing it to the right temperature. So outdoors, if you're cooking outdoors especially, go ahead and grab some kind of thermometer, um, and check that temperature. My family mocks me all the time I because I because you're always using it. I it always really is do. Smart. It's so smart to use, and it's so easy yes. and quick. Yes. And if you're going to remember one number, remember 165. Okay. And that's going to keep you safe. All right. Okay. 165. Just no matter what. Just across the board. Okay. Okay. That's good. Cover. Um, okay, this is adorable. <laughs> isn't that cute? Well, because then yucky flies and whatever are not getting on your food. And I think a lot of times we don't think about getting foodborne illness from critters. Critters. So much. That they are the vector. Mm -hmm. So keep your food covered, um, whether it's just something that keeps those wasps and all that kind of, those flies and stuff out. Or even if, let's say you're out camping and it's a little dusty and dry and that wind kicks up, uh, you and I both know what is making up that dust that's blowing. We don't want that in our food. No, we don't. So okay, keep so it covered. covered. Okay, right. so that's another thing. Um, then the chilling, okay? Oftentimes this is a great little cooler. We don't necessarily, isn't that cute? Well, I mean, just sometimes you don't need a huge one, and it's yes. easy to just drag like a little thing with you. Yes. And whether it's a cooler or a, a, one of those foil bags, those kinds of things, making sure that you're able to keep your cold food cold, your hot food hot, a separate cooler for each one, you know, even if you just say, all right, I don't have time to cool it down or the space, I'm going to keep it hot till I get home, stick a brick on the grill wrap it in a towel, put that in your cooler, and that is a little mini oven, okay? Oh, a little warmer. Oh, look at there, okay? okay. But making sure what that you've I got it cool? down to, you wanna make sure that you've got all your food cooled down um, within a couple hours. And we're talking like cheese, but, I mean, just anything high, meat. Mostly if you're thinking high protein foods, um, creamy sauces, anything with gravy sauces, mayonnaise based, um, protein foods, that kind of a thing. Okay. Meats, poultry. All right, you brought a great little gazpacho. Yes. Recipe, and which I, this is great because you don't have to do a lot you when don't. you're outdoors and, it's, and, and camping. It's safe. It's, it doesn't have those high protein dangerous foods in it, but it's one of my favorite things to eat outside. What is this one? What's in this guy? So in here, is there got, avocado? You've got avocado, oh. cucumber, tomatoes, peppers, cilantro, some dill, some garlic, and some vegetable juice. Oh my word. It's so healthy. It is and just so easy. like Heaven. summer in a spoon. Oh my goodness. And it's, and it's nice because that's one of the things that you don't necessarily have to worry about saying, oh my word, did I set the timer to make sure that I've got it cooled in time? Right, it's just done. It's not a high risk food. Do you make it beforehand or do you just cut it all up out? There? I mean, what I, do you do if you're camping? Either or. You can have this stuff chopped and just dump it together or you can make it ahead of time and just bring it in, you know, a jar, a bottle, anything like With that. With this whole wheat bread? <sighs> the best. Oh. Oh, it's so good. So good. But honestly, and even if you say I'm out camping and I have something that is high risk and it's a little iffy, chuck it. It's better to throw when it out. When in doubt, than throw it to out. Throw it up. You're so right, Trish. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll put this recipe and all her information on our website too, so you can follow Trish at Nutritious Intent. All right, coming up next, you might have money up for grabs that you don't even know about how to claim that money next. Cabinets and Mantle for Good Things Utah, provided by Maple Landing Custom Cabinets.